Okay, good morning. This is a video for graphs of trigonometric functions. Okay, from Alex is the first very simple example. Okay. Uh, the topic is graphs of trigonometric functions. It's based on the Alex type of problems and the very first problem we see in uh, homework eight for our course, but it's the very first example for graphing trigonometric functions, they only change the coefficient in front of either sine or cosine. In this case, the coefficient is five over two, five halves. And just so we know, this number is gonna be the amplitude, okay? It's gonna like um, stretch it up and down, okay? So the way, the best, the easiest way, or the best way to solve these problems using Alex is to begin with a little table where we have X, and y like we usually do okay and we're gonna first make the table of the points with um with the basic sine and cosine with the basic um, quantities that we will have Let's see okay here when we did the standard values for x we're gonna begin in zero and if you remember the unit circle unit circle then we have pi over four, which is 45 degrees. You have pi over two. You have, remember we're counting by fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So you have three fourths of pi. Then four fourths of pi is one pi. And then continuing with the fourths, four fourths, five over four of pi. And then you have six over four simplified to six over four simplifies to three halves. In three halves pi, you are in the bottom, like one half, two half, three halves, to seven two hundred and seventy degrees. Three halves, the you can by fours, four, four, five, six, seven over four, seven over four of pi and finally eight over four which is two pi one complete cycle one complete revolution okay this was not needed the last one is not needed okay so have those values and if you remember the values for cosine okay in the unit from the unit circle um we know which, which numbers do we know we know um Let us see the example really quick. Well, they don't even give him so many values. I, I was being too, too generous with, with the numbers. So we don't need that many values. We don't have to be that exact. So let's close this example. So we, what we need is the multiples of two, multiples of half of pi. So that will make it simpler, more simple. So we don't need pi over four. We don't need this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Okay. Okay. Now, the cosine. Remember that in the, imagine your unit circle were in the, Cosine is x, right? In zero, right here. Let me let me show you here. If you have, I want a shape. I want the shape of a circle. Unit circle, right? When you are, when you're right here in zero, how much is the x? The x. Another little line to make it nicer. Estaciones, lines, line here. I don't want to relleno. Then in 
Insertar, ilustraciones, forma. Here, okay. When you're in this position here, when you're in this position here, um, remember that every little point has coordinates x comma y, right? The x gives us the cosine x is equal to the cosine that we're looking for, right? So what is the x position of this point in the unit circle? Is zero degrees? It's one. Next, when you move counterclockwise, how much is the x position here? It's gonna be zero. Now, when you're here in pi, how much is the x position? Negative one. When you're in three halves of pi right here, the x position is zero again. And then in two pi, the exposition is one again, okay? So we're gonna take these points as the original. These are the points for cosine of x, cosine of x. And now in the same graph, I need to add another column. That's gonna give us the points of five over two times the cosine of x. Now multiplying everything I have here here by five over two. So equals this times five over two gives me two and a half, right? And then by zero it should be zero by negative one and so on. So now this here with this will be the points that I'm going to place on the Cartesian on the on the Cartesian plane in Alex. These were just a reference, so I'm gonna make them uh, not so brilliant, okay? Now, well, now I have those points that I'm gonna graph in Alex. I go back to my Alex page here. I go to my Alex page and I say, well, Alex, I want you to graph these points. Okay. So I open the box. Do not approximate, right? Yeah, they want us to write um, fractions. Okay, I think we're doing. Okay, first point. My first point is going to be 0, 2.5. 0, 2.5. And I'm gonna plot it. It's right here. Okay. Instead of beginning at the height of one, it's gonna be at a height of two and a half. Okay. Five halves, that's two and a half. Five divided by two is two and a half. Next point. Pi over two, comma zero. So right here I'm gonna plot pi over two, comma zero. And I plot it and I have this point. It's going down here. Okay. Next point, pi, comma, negative 2.5. Pi, comma, negative 2.5. Plot the point. It's still going down. Okay. Right here. Okay. Now, three halves of pi for x. So I have three pi over two, three halves of pi here, comma zero, comma zero, plot the point. Now it's beginning to go up, okay? Now, um, the last point that I need is two pi, two pi, comma 2.5, 2.5. Plot point. And I can see the shape. Now, hopefully, when we ask Alex to graph it, we're going to see a nice curve. Hopefully. Blah, 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 blah. The graph, the graph, the graph, the graph, the graph, the one cycle. They only want one cycle, which is nice. So let's do it. I plotted one cycle, and we have the curve. 
And I think if I continue, it's gonna say if it's right or wrong, I hope. Oh, didn't say, but I think it's right, okay? So that was the first example. What we did is we multiply the cosine by five over two. If we had a coefficient one, the height will be one, the amplitude will be one. Now we uh, increased the amplitude, we took it higher and lower all the way to two and a half. Okay, this is it. Thank you so much. See you around, bye-bye.